And if you are in the network video recorder, it's very important because it's gonna save all your footage. Here I have the Zossi NVR. Let me just show some details here. Zossi logo, of course, the Zossi NVR. 8265 plus, that means the codec that's using to compress the video. 8D means high definition. And NVR, of course, network video recorder. Here's some LEDs, you can see power, LAN, a hard drive, and a connection for the mouse, a USB connection. Here you have some screws that are holding the hard drive. This unit comes with the hard drive already installed. And here, in the back, you have a lot of connections. Starting with the PoE connection, you connect from here to the camera, so the NVR can power the camera. PoE 1 to 8. Okay, it's a standard universal PoE. So you can just connect the camera. If the camera is compliant with the PoE, it's co of course it's gonna work, but it comes with Zossi camera that of course are compliant. Here button, on and off. Connection to the power supply, 48 volts DC. And here a connection to the ground. Here are some screws so you can open the device to install the hard drives. USB connection, you can plug here a pen drive to back up something or also to firmware update. LAN, you can connect to your router so you can have access to the internet. HDMI connector so you can connect to a monitor. If you don't have HDMI, you can use the VGA monitor, okay? You can connect here directly. And audio in and audio out. You can connect here a microphone and also a speaker. Okay, so I have here the Zossi NVR with the cameras connected already. And let's take a look at the menu. It's pretty simple. There is no advanced features in this device, but it's simple to use. So let's take a general overview here in the menu. As you can see here in the screen, I have four cameras connected. Two are uh, outdoors. You can see one of them here. And the other ones are here inside. Uh, you just need to click, right click with the, your mouse and you have access to a menu like this, okay? You can also see some information on the screen. Here you see the date and time for each of the cameras. And you can also have names for the cameras. And here you can see if it's recording and also if it's recording with motion detection. As you can see here, there was a little running man here. When I pass my hand in front of the camera, this running man is back, meaning it's recording using motion detection, okay? You're gonna understand later how to set up motion detection and everything else. And let's check here the menu again. Right click, I can see in the menu. Uh, let's start with the single camera. So I can click here and select camera by camera, channel one to eight. Let's see, for example, channel two. And I right click again, single, channel three, and I can keep doing that, okay? And I can also select multiple channels. Let's say, for example, one to four, and multiple channel, five to eight. I don't have cameras on five to eight channels, but that's the idea. You're gonna see the cameras here, if they're connected. And you can also see different layouts. You see six cameras, different layout here. Another layout here, seven to eight cameras. One to six, different layout again. And let's come back to one to four. You can start scan. That means you can see camera by camera in the monitor or you can see groups of cameras. So I can show the first camera, wait for five seconds, show the second camera, the third camera, and go on like that. Or I can do by groups. Let's see here, for example, I have four cameras on the screen. I start the cam, the, the scan, and then the NVR is gonna show the next four cameras. That'll be six to eight that I don't have here, but that's the idea. Then I can stop scan and I can come back here and show camera one to four. Pretty easy to understand, pretty easy to use. Color, I can change camera brightness. Let me just change it here, brightness, hue, saturation. Let me just play here so you can have an idea, you see? Saturation here, contrast, let me change a little bit so you can see it. It takes a while to take effect. That was too much, let me move here to the right. As you can see, that's the overall idea. You can do this channel by channel. You select camera one or camera two. As you can see, it's different here in camera two or camera three. You can do one by one. 
and you can also come here if you mess up you can click default and change everything back the way it was and let's start playing again with the menu e zoom uh, it's a digital zoom so you can click here and start zooming and panning here as you can see uh digital zoom there is no great quality because it's digital right but you can see some details here not the bad right click you come back to the original size of the image ipc channel config here you can configure your cameras you can add or exclude cameras here the, uh, the way it works is like this right here you have on the left side you have the channel you're going to add to your nvr and here you have the camera that are available the cameras there are down here already added to the system with the ip address subnet mask port and everything else you don't need to worry about that right when you need a, a to add a new camera you just plug the camera in the on the nvr you come here you hit search if the nvr doesn't find the camera automatically right if it doesn't add automatically you just come here it look for the camera let's say you have a fifth camera here just click on it it's going to load this part here and you just input the username and the password click add the camera is going to come down here it's added to your nvr